Welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Y'all, today I'm going to show y'all this uh, case rust lock knife that I have. If you remember in another video, I showed you uh, one that I had. And on the back of the uh, liner back here, it was uh, had a pretty good little crack in it. Well, when I went to uh, Smoky Mountains on vacation there, I stopped Smoky Mountain Knife Work. And I bought uh, several different knives. And um, I took my other rust lock up there. And uh, it was when a 30 day window, so I traded it in for this uh, rust lock right here. And this particular one, the number on it is 65303. It's a uh, bone stag uh, handle on it. Let me show you right there. Looks real nice. The, the only thing about this is a little different than the other one. I think it was a can't remember now peach jig a handle but uh this little bit rougher right here this bone stag and you can see right here it's a little bit more raised right in this point right here and uh but anyway y'all uh this knife here when i first got it it was really stiff and i had to work uh get some oil three in one oil and put it in, in here and also right in here and i just worked that uh blade back and forth and I see it got a lot smoother now. It just had to be worked in, but you I'm not complaining, but I guess I am some bit. You know, you figure a knife cost about 90 bucks would be ready right out of the box, but it wasn't. And I had to uh, do some uh, work on it and uh, getting it uh, oiled up and back and forth probably a hundred times or more just to get that. Had like a little grindy type feel to it, y'all. But, uh, Anyway, I just want to show you that knife, but the other uh, reason for this video is, well, to have a nice pocket knife like that, uh, I didn't want to carry it in my pocket, uh, just in my pocket, so I made me a uh, leather uh, slip for it, and I just want to show you all that, and I'm putting a couple different ones on my Etsy uh, shop right now. But this particular one right here is going to be mine. And uh, I made this a little bit different from ones I'm putting on uh, my AC shot right now. Um, you can see right here, I don't know if you can tell or not, I lined it uh, with another layer of thin uh, two to three ounce leather here. And uh, so it's like four to five ounce leather for the outside. And the inside has been lined with a, a two to three ounce leather. And uh, let me show you what it looks like here. So it fits it real nice. And up the top here, I put me some little uh, deer prints right here, footprints. And uh, show you here. Right there at the top, y'all can see I got me some little prints right there. So uh, I've never uh, actually carried a, a knife in a slip before, but uh, this is gonna be my first time to start carrying a knife in my pocket with a slip, which uh, I think I think there's real, you know, real nice. You know, one one thing I can say, you know, carrying a pocket knife, you know, sometimes your knife get turned sideways in your pocket, you got gets kind of hung there, kind of feel funny in the bottom of your pocket sometimes, and you got to straighten it out or whatever. But uh, this sheet uh, slip right here, I can just slip it down in my pocket there, and it, it'll keep it up right there. Plus, it protect my knife from. Uh, being um let me pull this back out it keep keep the knife from being uh lint and all kind of dirt and stuff uh you know getting down in here is bad of course you know there's always going to be something getting on your knife that's uh, just part of it but uh these will kind of protect your knife a little bit better in the finish and everything but anyway y'all i just want to show y'all that uh little uh slip i made for my rust lock and show that new rust lock but uh, I'll bring you bring out some more videos, some more knives I bought uh, up there at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And um, I'll be showing y'all them in some more videos. And I want to make some sheaths uh, for them also. But they're going to be uh, like a fixed blade knives. And I think I might have uh, one, two uh, uh, fold knives I bought also. I'll show you. Austin, one of them is Austin's. He wanted a knife or a sheath I made. And I bought him a 
like a buck uh, 110 knife, but it's not a buck 110, but it's made like it. But I'll show y'all that knife too. But anyway, y'all, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I appreciate y'all watching. As always, friends, my family, yours. Y'all have a blessed day, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.